what up YouTube it's thief remember to click on that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date on all things Fortnite. and as always catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash TC thief Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Central European time I got the 2 a.m. Central European time for the Europeans out there because they've been they've been hassling me about it I'm sorry fam but Football season is upon us, and I'm saying college football season is upon us. I am an Alabama fan. TC Me is a USC fan. If you guys watch college football, uh, let me know down in the comments, all right? I won't talk about this uh, too much, but I'm going to be watching football because it's awesome. I'm so happy football season is here, and uh, me and me are both Army fans as we are both in the Army. But... That is not what the video is about today. Today we are going to talk about how to get guaranteed affliction and snare last perks on your weapons, right? There's been a lot of questions out there coming from the stream and coming from comments down in the comment area on YouTube. How do I get snare and affliction? Because snare and affliction is the only perks worth having on any gun. All of the gun perks are awful the only one that's really decent is the one on the founders revolt which is the bullet chain it's uh penetration to one one target but snare and affliction we're gonna go over how to get snare and affliction perks on your weapons so here we go now there is two ways you can do this we'll cover the least efficient way first because you can do this all in game so without wasting any legendary flux all right this is all geared towards using epic flux so what you want to do is you go down to your collection book and you're going to purchase a uh assault rifle of your choosing i'm going to do the hunter killer because i love hunter killers you're going to purchase it from the book all right it's going to cost you a hundred epic flux now if you're like me you can see right here i have 500 epic flux i don't use epic flux very often uh, so it, this is relatively cheap for most of the community out there and what you do is you take that epic weapon that you just purchased and you go to upgrade rarity right and you can see right here I'm gonna upgrade rarity but you don't increase the rarity you just look at the last perk as you can see right here the last perk is headshot elimination so it's a poopy perk I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this weapon but you can see right here that I wasted no legendary flux on this so no harm no foul now this is the first way to do this uh, least efficient way you can continue to do this until you get snare or affliction on your weapon as you can see right here I'm researching my second set uh, like I said don't use epic flux on real nothing in the game there's nothing really I need and uh, you can see right here I get another poopy perk all right so this is the least efficient way to do this we're gonna co cover the second way to do this right now which is awesome somebody said this to me on stream and uh i was like wow that's really awesome that you can do that so the second way involves a rare flux right <laughs> nobody uses rare flux for anything you can see right here um i'm looking at my other raptor whatever um but buy uh weapons from the book using rare flux and then when you get i have you can see i have three weapons right there that were purchased with rare flux and i and you don't know any of the you know fourth fifth and sixth perks on it so how do you see the fourth fifth and sixth perk on it you ask here we go we are going to go over to storm shield one once again this is an awesome utility tool for players of fortnite all right posting this link down in the description if you need this site go check it out but on storm shield one it will tell you when you fully upgrade the weapon what the perks are going to be you can see right here i have three i don't know what they're called what are they called what are these weapons called they are called predators so you can see i got one with flat damage that has snare at the end of it i have one with headshot damage and one with critical rating that have two poopy perks on it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back into my inventory and i'm gonna recycle the ones with the two poopy perks on it and then i'm gonna increase the rarity of the one with snare on it and you're gonna see that it's going to give me snare from this weapon so right here you see me going through these weapons i was not paying attention and i actually recycled something that had snare on it so when you're in this pay attention 
attention to what you got. So one of these predators had snare and one of them had affliction on it. So I had the possibility to upgrade two of those because there would be two useful perks. So pay attention to Storm Shield 1 and, and the perks. I ended up upgrading the one with the affliction. You can see right here I'm going to increase the rarity to epic and it's going to give me that damage to afflicted perk. And then I'm going to go again and increase the rarity. I'm not going to use my legendary flux to increase the rarity, but you can see right there, bam, increase the rarity causes affliction for six seconds. Bazinga, there is my affliction without wasting any legendary flux whatsoever on poopy weapons with poopy perks so uh, i hope this helps you guys out uh definitely been getting questions about it in the comments of youtube and in the stream and this is gonna bring us to our comment of the day i've been slacking on the comments of the day i'm sorry fam and this comment of the day comes from combian Rivers. i don't know breeding's hard production so i think that's spanish little raid like in destiny lmao kingfall is not a small raid all right fam i uh, literally don't know what you're talking about or didn't know what you were talking about so i youtubed it and the first video i found was this right here it says king's fall world record speed run 25 minutes and 52 seconds the reason why i say a small raid is because i'm coming from star wars the old republic and we have raids like nightmare s and v as you can see in this video now this is a two hour raid and that i say two hour because the timed run is two hours long so experienced nightmare groups can do the raid in two hours to achieve the title dragon slayer now less experienced group this raid is taking them four and five hours and it's seven bosses this last boss is called Styrak Styrak takes 18 minutes to kill and that is for an experienced group 18 minutes long for one boss and then one thing one mistake one wrong move wipes the entire raid group this is what I call a long raid not 25 minutes for the whole thing that is why i said small raid so once again everybody thank you for all your support i appreciate all the support you give the channel and the stream thank you for watching and as always folks stay classy